Hello everyone and welcome to the model review of the Lieber LR1300 crawler crane. Uh, the model is manufactured by NZG Models. I am currently in the middle of doing a stop motion video of the assembly of the model. So that is why the boom is resting on a box as it didn't want to cause too much stress or strain to the body of the model. What can I say about the model? But NZG really hit it out of the park. When it came to designing this, it's full of high detailed pieces and it's nice and functional, which we love to see. Um, as you can see, I just have it configured in the boom section and that's mainly because my table isn't big enough to do an assembly video with the luffer attached. So I separated both of them. And just goes to show how big the model actually is when it's fully erected with a luffer. I think it stands about 1.8 meters tall. Which is quite impressive considering my table is about a meter and a half long. So I would have struggled to get that in one go. It's been quite documented already that... The head of the boom and the luffer are attached on the 1300 with rivets compared to other crawler crane models. So all you have to do is simply remove the rivets. There's one on this side and this side of the boom section. And this is where they attach on to the luffer. It's die cast rivet and if you can get a tweezers or a scissors or pliers in under the groove all you do is have to flick it out it comes out nice and handy i scraped off a bit of paint but that doesn't bother me it's just a bit of wear and tear the sheaves themselves are also nice and free rolling on the boom and the hook which made it an absolute dream to reeve the hook because anyone who knows me knows that's the main reason why I wouldn't have purchased a crawler crane as Reven really puts me off the model. Now, unfortunately, the line has jumped out of the reeves or the sheaves, but it shouldn't be too bad just to put them back on. A bit of blue tack to hold the ones that are currently sitting in the sheaves shouldn't be a problem. Uh, right, so we'll move down to the body of the model. Let me just lower my tripod. Now, perfect. Right, so we have the cap to start off with, the most important part of the model. Rotates in and out, up and down, and then if we want to remove this first section of the boom, there's a screw on each end, and to access on this side, you have to rotate the cab up. You can get a little screwdriver in, and it comes out handy. Once that's removed, the cab will be able to fully rotate in, and then the model will be good for transport mode. As you can see, I have one door open already. There's a second door here, both of them for access to the winch drums of the model. So this winch drum is for the A-frame and then the front winch is for the hook for when it is hanging from the boom section. We also have a winch up on the boom and that is used for the luffer to move it up and down. We have a middle winch which is accessed the far side by a door. That is for when the hook is hanging from the luffer. The counterweights. I'll take you over a little bit. Our individual pieces. And they are all pinned in place. We have the walkways. Our nice little etched detail on them. A bit of texture. We have 
the body weight counterweights. They literally just sit in a groove on the they are sitting in a groove on the body. They're very easy to fall out if they're not. The tracks themselves, they rotate, but because of the weight of the model, I wouldn't be going and moving them as there's more, more than likely you're going to break a pin that connects them. NZG does supply spare pins and tracks, but you're better off to leave it as I'm sure it's a pain to have to put it back together. Also for transport mode, the tracks are able to be removed. There's screws on, two screws for each track. They're removed on the underside of the carriage. Mine were very much fast in place. They couldn't be removed and I didn't really want to damage the head of my screwdriver or the head or the screws. So I left them in place. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the assembly video of the model out soon enough. All going to plan. I think it's a fantastic model for our first crawler crane to the collection. So yeah, have a good day. Toodaloo.